Hi everyone, Casey Gets joined now by Jay Kess, the first year head coach of the John Battle Trojans. Coach, before we talk some football, how was your summer? Did you get to do anything non-football related for some fun? Well, I've got a one-year-old son that I spent a lot of time with. Uh, I watched a lot of Thomas the Train and, and uh, Miss Rachel, so that was about the only downtime I really got, but the rest of it was either on a lawnmower or at the practice field. All right, so you just became head coach, you know, in the springtime here, so not a lot of time before the season. Was this something, one of your ambitions to eventually become a head coach, or how excited are you for this opportunity? Um, it, I've always thought about it, but it, it kind of played out in a, in a strange way. Uh, for the last two years, I've been thinking about it, and, you know, this, this past year, my New Year's resolution was just to kind of give up pursuing it and just, you know, let a greater plan take place. I knew that there was, there was a plan in play for me, and uh, I just had to trust it, and, and here I am. So far, obviously, you haven't played any games yet, but what's the biggest adjustment of being a head coach from when you were an assistant? Uh, it's definitely not plays. It's not management. It's not practice schedules. It's transforming kids into better people. Um, now that, that I'm the head coach, I have to be the forefront of taking kids from when they enter our program, whether it's ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and and making them better people. You know, I, I want their parents to say that they're a better person after they leave our program than when they got there. And to me, that's, that's the hardest thing is, is getting them to believe in what we do and, and really making a transformation. How much easier will it be for you, your first head coaching job is a place where you've been an assistant the last couple of years, so you're very familiar with the kids. Oh, it's, it's a, an unbelievable advantage. Uh, I've known these kids since they were in seventh and eighth grade. Um, so I've, I've got that relation with them, uh, relationship with them already established. So that's definitely an advantage as going somewhere new and having to build new relationships. John Battle, they will be on Friday Night Rivals pretty early in the season. It'll be week two in Southwest Virginia. They will travel to Virginia High, always a competitive and emotional game when Virginia High and John Battle play. What is it like to be a part of that game? You know, I never played in that game, but, but hearing the kids talk about it, that's, that's definitely the one team that, that they want to beat that's on the schedule. You know, you, whenever they talk about the football season, it's always, I can't wait to play Virginia High. I can't wait to play Virginia High. So to them, the, it, is, it is the biggest game that, that's on their schedule. But again, even though it's game two for us, we have to start with game one and, and take it one day at a time. What is it like, we've done a couple of John Battle games over the years on television, but it has been a couple of years. What is it like for the kids for this opportunity to be able to play on television where their family and friends who maybe don't live around here can be able to, to watch it? Um, I, I don't, I don't want to tell them that it's a big game on TV. I don't want to get any, any jitters going, but I think it's great that, you know, they have the opportunity to, to show everybody that what they've been working for is going to pay off and, and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. And you mentioned that is going to be game number two. Game one, your first game as a head coach against yep. your alma mater in it Abingdon. Is. How special is that going to be for you? Uh, so I actually coached with Coach Amberge as my, my first year coaching. I was, I was a volunteer there, and, um, and I had a lot of fun doing that. So it's really exciting to be able to coach against them. And uh, as the alma mater, I, don't, I consider John Battle as my home. I've kind of immersed myself into that community. And, and to me, it's exciting, but we're, we're, still, we're still excited. And, We'll see what happens. All right, that's game number one for John Battle. Game number two we have on Friday Night Rivals. That will be Friday, September the 6th, when John Battle travels over to Virginia High. Coach, thank you for joining me. Thank you.